What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Electric Productions. I'm Jay and I'm bringing you a real quick review today of Crimson Earth 2. Now I've tried to do multiple reviews on this already today and I found myself getting kind of disappointed and frustrated with the title. This is another case of a game where there's a lot of potential that the devs could have made good use of that gets squandered. Um, so let's jump right in here. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, within 30 minutes you're going to have all of the weapons unlocked in the game. And I will run through them with you really quick. Pointless, 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 OP. Pointless, 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 OP. There's a trend here, and I'm sure you're picking up on it. Pointless, 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 OP. So, the sniper rifle, you run out of ammo really quickly. The Tesla toy is quirky and kind of annoying to utilize. It's okay, but I couldn't stand it. The grenade launcher is phenomenal. You get 60 rounds of it, and it will blow up whole clusters of enemies. The flamethrower is super wonky, and it is miserable to use. The shotgun is just pointless next to the minigun here. Um, that's what they call it. It's more of a heavy machine gun, but whatever. Um, and, uh... Yeah, it's just, you have to reload it more often. It just doesn't feel good to use. The AR is also pointless next to the minigun here. And then the submachine gun is so underpowered, it's kind of a joke. The pistols are all, I guess, okay. They just don't feel good. And the six shooter, it's not a, I mean, it's powerful, but when you're in a zombie game, you want to be able to fire more quickly than this will allow you to. And it doesn't hold a candle to the trusty 44, as they call it here. In single player, these four maps, I think, are new for this title. Crimson Land 1, um, these three maps were in there. They call them bonus maps, but they're just recycled from the first game, and a lot of stuff is recycled from the first game. Zombies, a lot of the weapons, the areas. There's not much here that seems very different from the first title. I don't own the first title, but just looking on the Steam store and looking at what's on display, it becomes apparent that these games are highly similar. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to take you into... Every map here, it's the same thing. Kill a certain number of zombies. You can do it online with another person, but since you're way OP already, there's not really a point to do this with another person. There's no real benefit from it. The only time I died in this game is either when I ran out of ammo and let my character get killed on purpose, or when I got bored and let my character get killed on purpose. Um, so... Some of them will try to dress up, you know, the... Um, the mission objective and this one like it's super annoying actually they'll say quickly get to the armored uh, car to get out of here and kill anything in your way and I'm like cool okay so it's actually a mission so I dash through made it to the armored car and nothing happened then I noticed that oh you got to kill 200 zombies too so when you kill the 200 zombies do you then go to the armored car and drive away no it just it's a mission over screen like every other map so there's 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 no replay value here you unlock the weapons within 30 minutes the maps are all the same thing, just kill zombies. It's not that fun. I'll jump into Crimson East here, and I'll just show you uh, some gameplay really quick. I've had the game crash to desktop multiple times. The controls are weird. When you aim down sights, it does this weird thing. It's actually a lot easier to just hip fire in this game. There are perks in the game, but they're kind of just pointless, um, honestly. There's a couple of them that are kind of cool, but you get them once per mission and that's it. And ammo is a problem for weapons, which is one of the reasons that I like this minigun, as they call it, is because you get 400 rounds with it. And, or actually you get more than that, you get like 600. And then every time you pick up a little ammo pack on the ground, um, you get, you know, 400 more. And you could just treat this thing like a rifle and just let the way overpowered auto-aim just draw your reticle towards zombies and then just pop headshots. Um, you won't really run out of ammunition if you do it that way. It's boring. And yeah, you could just go like this and hold it down and mow them down. Um, but... You're just artificially trying to um, extend the life of this title, really. One of the things that's weird is, is if you shoot a zombie in the arm, um, and the arm takes damage and breaks, because they do have um, limb-based damage, I guess. can't think of what I'm trying to say exactly, but yeah. But if you shoot like a limb, <clears throat> it takes damage, and then it can no longer take damage, and you keep shooting that same limb, or if it happens to flop in the way of the head, then it will sit there and not let the zombie take any damage until you are able to reposition yourself where you're not hitting that 
previously functional limb. I'll show you the overpowered grenade launcher. Ta-da! Yeah, you only got 60 shots with it, um, but that's all you need. I mean, you could just run around and kite the enemies into a little, you know, a little cluster. Yeah, they'll damage you some, but whatever. You're not in any real danger. And then just do that. I mean, we got to kill 250 zombies this round, but it's not too difficult to do. In fact, you could just run up into the hills and let them all come to you and go do something else while you're waiting for them to find you. Then this happens all the time. And thankfully, there's the melee, which is useless. I mean, it works. You can kill zombies with it, but it's super wonky. Uh, but it will... The main... There you go, see? But the, but the main reason for the um, melee attack is that it lets you get off of uh, these terrain-based clipping issues that occur. And, and then again, some of the terrain you can just walk right through anyway. Production value is low here, and that's the thing that's disappointing. This title actually could have been fun. It's not hideous to look at. I like the zombies and their slow movement. Um, and, you know, I just... I'm tired of these titles coming out that are just cash grabs. That's just, hey, look, we made a zombie game. And people play it. There you go. See, come on, guys. Um, there is another title that even has Crimson in the name. This is Crimson Earth. Well, this is Crimson Earth 2. But there was another title called Crimson Land. And the nice thing about Crimson Land was it was top-down, not graphically impressive, but a lot of fun. And as you destroyed enemies, they would drop temporary perks, ammunition, new weapons you could pick up. Uh, they were fast-moving. Some of them had special abilities. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun to play. Can't go up inside of any of the structures in the game. Even ones that just have, like, a low step. But I can still sit here, and I can do this. Anyway, Crimson Land. This could have been a third-person version of Crimson Land. And they could have had where the zombies drop... Um, here's the OP pistol. The, the zombies drop ammunition, special weapons, temporary perks, speed up the zombies a little bit, give some of them special abilities. It would have been a fun title. Um, and it's totally doable with what they've got here. It would have just taken a little more work and ingenuity. But instead, we've just got... I mean, right now, I'm just doing a shooting gallery. Not a very good one. There's no first-person mode. I mean, if I want to, I can switch back to the machine gun. And even though I'm firing all over the place, I can still totally hit zombies. It just gets boring. I mean, it gets boring really fast. And I'm ready for them to start making games that just exercise a little more creativity. Anyway, for... People will argue and say, you know what, it's it's less than $2 on release, and it's going to be $3 most of the time. Give the title a break. It is it is what it is. It's a simple game. It's not meant to be anything super special. Um, you know, you're being too hard on it. But the problem is, is these kind of titles are just choking up the Steam uh, release library. And this title in particular is really baffling because it's been quote-unquote released on Steam now like, 12 or 13 times. They just couldn't seem to get... I don't know what was happening. It would say, being released in a few hours. It would be released. There'd be no price available for it, and then all of a sudden it would get bumped out a few days. It was the weirdest thing, and this just kept happening over and over. And part of me was kind of hopeful, like, well, you know what? They're they're perfecting it. I do like blowing zombies out of their own shoes. Their little feet stay on the ground there. <laughs> but the only thing I actually really like about the game, and that got old really quick. This pistol is so OP. I mean, it's explosive, so I get it, but... In any case, I was hoping that with it getting pushed back, that maybe, just maybe, there was going to be something different that occurred. Here's a grenade. Uh, but no, I mean, I don't know what they kept pushing it back for. I don't know if it was just really broken or what the deal was. And that's the game. You can barely tell when you throw grenades. Oh, am I out of grenades? No, I got one more. And bye-bye, zombies. That's a perk. Catches everybody on fire. Almost none of the perks are any good. There's one that, like, lets you reload. There's a god mode. Um, there's... My character's glowing, by the way, because I turned a perk on just before ending the match, and so now that just... He just stays lit up um, until I start a new round. 
Uh, but guys, that's I mean that's the game in a nutshell. It, that's it. That's the whole game. You will unlock the weapons within 30 minutes. All the maps are pretty much the same, and that you just have to kill a certain number of zombies. The ones that are at night are super dark and kind of hard to see, and I just didn't care for it. Um, it's it just seems like a lost opportunity. They really could have made a game like a 3D Crimson Land, where faster zombies with special abilities, and you're un, you know they drop perks and ammo, and you can get things like chaining lightning from zombie to zombie, and um, you know explosive ammunition for a short period of time, and don't make it killing a certain number of zombies. It's surviving for a certain period of time, um, or maybe you know some of the maps killing a certain number of zombies, or uh, getting a certain number of weapon kills with a certain kind of weapon, and have the unlocks where you're unlocking unlocking maps, new enemy types, um, oh, survival mode. They could have made something really good here that was worth ten dollars, twelve dollars, even twenty dollars. If they made this like a 3D Crimson Land, I would easily throw down twenty dollars on it uh, because that game had high replayability and there was a, a leaderboard scoreboard. This game doesn't even have that multiplayer. Pointless. There's nobody even playing. I found one game and when I tried to join it, um, let me see if this will work. Yeah, there's this one here. When I tried to join, it didn't even work. Um, it's just, I don't know, guys. If you would like to see me play more of this, let me know in the comment section below. I really don't think there's a reason or a point to. If you're interested in this title, I'd say hold off. Wait for a deep Steam sale and get it for 25 cents because that's the amount of value you're going to get out of it compared to a lot of the other titles you can get for similar prices to the two to three dollar mark. I mean, there's some titles that come out for two or three dollars on Steam that are really good titles. They're a lot of fun to play. Um, this one just doesn't have the staying power. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Hopefully I saved you some time and some money uh, for purchasing this game for yourself. And uh, I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Until then, game on, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.